Coach, what did, what did you think you were getting in, in Brandon Lane when you signed him? And you know, what have been you know your impressions now that you've been able to work with him in person for a couple of days? Well, definitely when you take a look at Brandon, I mean, you see a guy that's big, he's dense, he's powerful, and he's really, really athletic for his size. So those things have definitely kind of held true in, in working with him and spending time with him. Coach Kirk just had a lot of good things to say about Dylan Johnson, primarily strength and just his potential long term. What have you seen from him early on here? Yeah, I mean, obviously, God blessed him with great leverage. Um, he really does a good job of using that, uh, playing square, playing powerful with his hands, and playing with a really, really high motor. So, definitely, definitely he's done a good job these first couple of days. What did I notice in the early drills, too? You, you know, even if it was a small slip up, you made the guys do those drills again, making sure that, that they get to the finish line and earn that. You know, just tell me a little bit about the accountability and why it's so important for us early on. Well, obviously, we know football is a game of inches, and you know, all those little details, they add up if you want to be great. So we always focus in and harping on doing the little things right, right? Because at some point in the season, a little detail is going to be the difference between winning and losing. So we harp on it with everything. We got uh, you know, four experienced guys coming back. In terms of depth, what, what would make you feel comfortable in terms of you know, getting guys ready that you can depend on each other? Well, the big thing is we just talk about everybody in the room has a role. Right, everybody in the room has a piece of the pie if they earn it. Right, guys have to come out here with the right mentality and work right on and off the field in the weight room, doing all those little things right to earn that trust. Right, and have that trust and for your brothers that they believe in you and that we can roll guys so we can play the game the way it's supposed to be played. One of the things that Coach Pickwell mentioned multiple times is like the importance of being able to rotate and having that depth. In your career, how often have you seen a coach that wants to push six, seven, eight linemen throughout a game? Well, obviously, the, the, the great thing about Coach Figgle is he played the position, right? And he understands that if we want to play the game up front the way it's supposed to be played, right, hard, violent, playing with passion, and guys being relentless in their pursuit, you can't be a guy that plays 70, 80 snaps, right? And obviously, the goal is to play a long season. So those that adds up, right, all those snaps. So you have to have depth. You have to have guys that you trust to go out there to keep guys fresh so we can continue to hunt. Playing with Lions, too, you know, and again, just the message that you just push out on those guys whenever you say it in practice, you know, what's, what's the bigger meaning to it, just to, just to touch on that? Well, it, it's a mentality. I mean, it's as simple as that. Like, you can't play D-line if you don't play with a sense of violence, if you don't play with edge, right, if you don't have that mentality that it's me versus the guy across of them. And I got to own the line of scrimmage. So just it, that mentality and hearing it over and over and over again, right? And it just becomes who you are. You know, one of the biggest strides you've seen out of Kurt Neal from maybe the end of last season and when you got here to now? Well, the big thing with Kurt is just his emergence as, as just a leader, right? He plays with a ton of passion, right? He has a ton of edge and energy. And now he's been continuing to grow into a guy that's becoming more vocal, right? And that. You know, the guys, the younger guys can really look at it and say, hey, this is the right way to do things. So just continue that, that leadership growth has been huge with Kurt. He mentioned being a shorter defensive lineman, some of the challenges and benefits of that. When you look at him as a pass rusher, where are the steps that he's taken? Where's that maybe next step for him? Well, obviously, like he talked about, with that natural leverage, right, you're able to get up underneath guys. And Kurt has done a heck of a job this offseason, right, with his strength and how strong he is and how powerful he is to now play under offensive linemen, use that leverage and run him back and collapse a pocket with it. Similar as far as uh, Elijah goes, coming uh, spring to now, where have you kind of seen? Again, a, a ton of growth. I mean, the, the guy has really bought in to the culture here, right? The identity of who we are as a team, who we are as a unit, and just worked his tail off, right? His off season was really, really good and expecting big things out of them. So just continuing right, every opportunity that we get out here to get better and continue to improve.